the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 94, 1 Samuel 17 to 18. The reason Goliath is so famous. Recognizing David, who defeated Goliath with faith and courage, Jonathan loved him as his own. First point. The 40 days of fear at Ephesus Damim led to the song Thousands and Tens of Thousands. During the early years of Saul's monarchy, the Philistines attacked. After some time, they came to attack again, but this time with a mighty warrior named Goliath. When Saul turned eight years old, he still battled against the Philistines, and this ultimately was the reason behind his death. The content of the Philistines attacking Israel for the second time during Saul's monarchy can be found in 1 Samuel 17 verses 4 to 7. When the situation became serious, Saul announced that he would free the person to win Goliath from paying tax, be presented with the king's gift, and also be given the king's daughter's hand in marriage. A lot of people would have been tempted by the offer, but no offer was as valuable as their own life. Thus, the situation continued for 40 days in Ephesus Damim, with no one volunteering to fight Goliath. It was at this point that David emerged and fought against Goliath. The reason we still talk about the fight between David and Goliath is not simply down to their difference in size. Goliath has been famous for the last 3,000 years because he lost to someone he definitely should have won outright. This incident became so famous that it started the famous song Saul killed thousands, and David killed tens of thousands. Second point, David experienced the lion's clutches, Goliath's and also Saul's rotten politics. Before turning 30, David had three trials in becoming king. God had already selected David to become the next king when David was a teen. The first trial David had was between the lions and the bears, whilst protecting his father's sheep. The weapon he used then was a stone and a sling. The second trial David had was with Goliath. The weapon used then was also a stone and sling. The third trial proved to be the most difficult. David was not able to use a stone and sling but had to face the political power of Saul. The song made by the woman saying that Saul killed thousands, whereas David killed tens of thousands, started the burning jealousy inside Saul. Third point, David and Jonathan met eye to eye with their faith that the battle belongs to God. Jonathan had said to his weapon bearer, during the fight with the Philistines in the early days. But if they say, come up to us, we will climb up because that will be our sign that the Lord has given them into our hands. Fast forward to Ephesus Damim. David said to Goliath that he would die today because he rebuked God. He proclaimed to Goliath that battles belong to God. When Jonathan saw this, it was like seeing his old self. Jonathan was not only surprised at David's sling skills, but also at what he said. 
from then on, Jonathan loved David as his own. Battles belong to God. Both Jonathan and David knew and believed this. Fourth point, with Jonathan's suggestion, Jonathan and David made a covenant. When Jonathan saw David defeating Goliath, he proposed to David to make a covenant. Jonathan kept his covenant until the day he died. Seen from the perspective of status, it was remarkable that a prince and a ship tender made a covenant. David also kept his covenant with Jonathan until the very end. After Jonathan's death, David brought in Jonathan's son, who had a disability in his leg and had him eat with the royal family for the rest of his life. David showed his loyalty towards Jonathan until the very end through Jonathan's son. Fifth point. Saul tried to use his daughter Michal to kill David. At first, Saul had a high regard for David. However, after hearing the songs sung by the woman, Saul's jealousy could not be overcome and so he planned to kill David. With Samuel no longer beside him, Saul was all the more nervous of his status. Saul tried to kill David with a spear, but David was able to dodge past it. Saul continuously tried to kill David until one day he tried to use his daughter Michal to kill him. Saul even sent David to fight with the Philistines in order to have him killed. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.